Hello everybody. In this video we are going to demonstrate the creation of a 15 nanometer standard cell library using a gate library creator. When library creator is started for the first time, it opens in wizard mode. The wizard guides us to the configuration of the library project in a simple step-by-step -step graphical user interface. The configuration of the project starts with the selection of the technology node. In this demo we are going to use MCSU 3PDK 15 nanometer. Now we are going to configure the cell architecture. In this demonstration we are going to create a 12-track library. We are also going to configure the implant regions, the power rail size, the transistor sizes, and the library layout style. For the physical verification step, Library Creator supports Calibre, Reculis, ICV, Ashura, and Store. And in the last step, we are going to specify the cells to create. Before we start creating the layouts, let's review the execution and engine setup. Library Creator supports execution in single thread, multi thread, LSF, and grid engine. We're going to select Grid Engine with 50 nodes to create the layouts in parallel. And now we are ready to start building these standard cell layouts. Now that the library is ready, we can look at the views generated by Library Creator. Let's start by the netlist view for the M2X1. You can see the Boolean equation and the transistor net list on the bottom. We also have the topology or stick diagram view and the final layout cleanup view which is the GDS2 view for free PDK 15 nanometer technology. For the verification of the generated layout, Library Creator supports integration with the RC, LVS, and PEX tools. And finally, we are going to check the exported views. Library Creator exports backend and frontend views. Let's take a look at the backend views. We have GDS, Left Schematic, Spice, and Spice with Parasitics, and we also have Time and Power Noise models in the frontend directory. Thank you for watching this video.